Thanks for tuning in to the Barbara Cox podcast. Today's question, have you stopped for a moment? And have you thought for a moment just how you got over? Have you stopped to think how you got over? Did you stop and think how good God has been to allow you to get over the situation, the circumstance that you have gone through? Something that could have killed you, could have destroyed you, could have shamed you, could have defamed you. Have you stopped to think that without without God, you would not have made it over? Have you stopped to think about the fact that God allowed you to, to, to stand before your enemies and walk across on dry land? He allowed you to get over. He allowed you to cross over. He allowed you to walk through it. He allowed you to go through it and not be burned. He allowed you to swim through it and not drown. He allowed you to make it to the promised land. And your shoes are not worn. In the midst of you walking through the wilderness. Have you stopped for a moment or are you so um, caught up in the moment that you that you forget that You've got to to turn around and you've got to look at where you came from and know that God brought you there. You you and and, and then know that God's going to take you even further. Okay, so so have you stopped for a moment to give him thanks? Have you stopped for a moment to give him praise? <laughs> glory, hallelujah. Have you stopped for a moment to give him glory? Because it was he that brought you to it. It was he that brought you through it. And it's he that will carry you on. So have you stopped for a moment? Or you're sitting there boasting and bragging about what you have accomplished. And you done forgot who allowed you to accomplish those things. You have forgotten who is the, who is the person that gave you the vision. And also gave you the provision. And gave you the proceeds. Gave you the prophecy gave you the prosperity to be where you are have you stopped for a moment or you're so consumed with self that you don't realize that you've got to thank God you got to give God the glory you got to give God the praise you got to give God the thanks because he is the only one that could have allowed it to happen he is the only one that did it for you so have you stopped for a moment And give him the glory. Because it was he that brought you through it. It was God and God alone. God sent his son for you to be able to accomplish the things that you have accomplished. It was Jesus himself that died on the cross so that you would have life. So have you ever thought That without God sending his son and caring enough and loving us enough that there is no way possibly we would be where we are today. Have you stopped and thought for a moment? Give him the glory. Give him the praise. Give him the glory that is due today. Lift up your hands and look unto the hills from which has come at your help. God has brought you where you are. God has dispatched his his angels on your behalf. God has sent his angels before you. God has sent a consuming fire to destroy anything in your path that tries to come against you. God has not allowed the enemy to triumph over you or your children or your spouse. And God has sent down so much And you're not going to stop and give him praise and give him glory. Have you stopped to think for just a moment? It was him that did it. It was God and God alone and not you. By your in your own power, you have no power without him. He is your power source. So have you stopped for a moment to think? Have you stopped for a moment to thank him? For his goodness, for his grace, for his mercy. 
So today, will you take a moment and give him praise? Will you take a moment and give him glory? Will you take a moment just to say thank you? He healed 10, but only one said thank you. Will you be that one today? Will you be that one that will go back and say thank you? Thank you, God. Thank you. That's all I have today. Take a moment and give God the glory that is due. Thank you for tuning in to the Barbara Cox podcast.